Hi everyone, I'm Cleo Star Pattern, our training coordinator here at Squish, and I'm here to tell you about our upcoming peer counseling course on grounding exercises. Grounding exercises are a powerful tool to help bring folks back to baseline after being activated, anxious, or dissociative. I'm going to walk you through my favorite exercise, and I hope to see you on October 15th. It's a Friday at 6 p.m. to learn more about them. So this is the 54321 activity. To start, I'm going to ask you to name five things that you can see right now. Maybe it's your phone or computer that you're watching this on. Maybe it's this video itself. And then four things that you can hear. Maybe the sound of my voice or a fan running in the background. And three things that you can feel. Maybe tension in your muscles, the chair against your back. Two things that you can smell. If you can't smell anything, two things you like the smell of. And then one good thing that you did for yourself today. Hey y'all, this is Jets. I use they them pronouns and I'm here to give you another option for a grounding exercise leading up to our community course module. And this is one um, that's a little bit more embodied if you're comfortable with that. And it can be done with any part of your body. So you can do like head to toe, you can do like just your face, just your hands, and it's called progressive muscle relaxation or PMR. And a therapist I had in the past taught it to me. And basically the idea is that uh, when we're stressed, we hold a lot of that in our muscles in tension. And so this helps break that cycle of muscle tension. So all you do is tense up. So let's say I'm using my like hands and arms and upper body and start with like clenching my fists and breathe into that for like 10 seconds. and then release. Imagine it's been 10 seconds. <laughs> and just let that all go. And then next I would do like my forearms and just move along the muscle groups. Tense for 10 seconds and release for 10 seconds. <laughs> and get all floppy wherever you were holding that tension before. And then you could do upper arms, then shoulder, and again, whatever part of your body feels comfortable for this, um, you could just do one muscle group at a time. And focusing on keeping the inhale and exhale regular, doing the counts, and hopefully um, you feel less physical tension after you've done this exercise. So, hope that was helpful, hope to see you at the community course, bye!